All right, all right. All right, all right. I'm in a very good mood right now. I just got an email saying that the motorcycle will be ready by 4 p.m. today. Today. Taking it home today. Mm. excited for the morning. Oh, he's excited that it's Friday. It's Friday morning. That's how I'm feeling in my mind right now, too. In my mind, I'm running around like that, but my body is like, ho, ho. Let's get some coffee in us first. That's a very nice fire pitch, man. <laughs> But you can't catch me. I bet you're right, Diesel. We're not all morning people like you. Oh. Okay, that's enough running for one day. Chevy. <laughs> oh, here they go. Here they go. Look what I did. You guys. You guys. It's too early for this stuff. Hey. <laughs> I think they're arguing about who's more excited that it's Friday. All right, guys, come. Come on in. We're done. Come on. Today is supposed to be the day. I'm excited, I shaved my head and everything for it, cut my hair. Other than it being Friday, that's good already in itself, so it's already gonna be a good day. The sun is shining. Today's supposed to be the day when the shop that's doing the safety certification on the motorcycle I wanna buy, it's, a, it's supposed to be done today. The tire is supposed to arrive today and be installed today. Let's see if they pull through, okay? I'll believe it when I see it at this point. I'm not gonna get too excited, but today is supposed to be the day. So we'll see what happens. Kinda interesting that it took them uh, 10 days to get a tire from like the next province over. I mean, I'm a truck driver. I know it only takes two days to get there. Ah. Whatever, whatever. Today is, they said that today is supposed to be the day. Let's see if they pull through. With a little bit of luck, I will be pulling it home on the trailer today after work. I hope so, because it'd be really cool to have it for the weekend. But if not, well, it's out of our hands, right? It's, I don't know what's going on. Maybe there was a mix-up in the, in the delivery. That happens. But I know it doesn't take 10 days to get here from Ontario. Like, we're, like I bought it from a co-worker, right? So we, we work in trucking. <laughs> we know when they're, you know, like... We know when they're talking. We know how long things take to get places. But maybe it's out of their hands too. I don't know. Maybe the tire had to come straight from Japan. I mean, the bike is a mo it's a Yamaha, right? So <laughs> maybe they had to get the tire from Japan. <laughs> what are we all out of tires? I wouldn't be surprised. We're all out of everything else. It seems there's a shortage of everything. Anyway, enough about that. We're going trucking today. I have no idea what they have planned for us. I was supposed to go up to Arburn and uh, see my friends up there. I like the shippers up there. They're fun guys to talk to and hang out with. And uh, not not going there today. The highway driver wants to go pick it up himself. All right, well, I'm gonna go and do something else then. We'll find out when we get there today. 
as long as at least one person is moving faster than me on the highway, I'm happy. I, mean, I don't really, I don't speed anyways because my, my driver's license is kind of like the most important thing I possess when it comes to work and you know paying bills and stuff. So I'm not a speeder, but I, I actually drive kind of slow, right? I know people like to go faster, especially in the morning. I, I know because they're always riding my rear end. I wanna go faster. That doesn't bother me, whatever. It does bother me, but I'm not gonna go faster. If anything, I'm gonna go slower when you when you tailgate me, but. No, I set my cruise and I just, you know, meander my way down the road. Eventually they make their pass and just go speeding off. Sometimes I get a one finger salute. Those are the special days. And I just ignore them and I smile because if anyone's gonna get a ticket, they're gonna get a ticket. See, there's always somebody going just a little bit faster than me, just a little bit. I like it that way. I have matured a lot since I was a kid. I've learned so many lessons. For some reason in the mornings, that's when I reflect the most. I feel like I'm most clear-minded while I'm sitting eating my breakfast at home alone. It's quiet. I sit there and reflect on my life, bad decisions I've made in the past, how I can make better decisions in the future, how I've treated people badly in the past and how I want to make this day different, that I want to treat people better every day. And learn from mistakes I've made in the past. For some reason in the mornings, that's when I have the most clarity. I get to work, I get the blood pumping, and all of a sudden I'm just one track mind. Go, 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 go. And in the evenings, especially Friday evening, I'm not thinking about anything that deep. No way. It's the weekend. Thinking about mowing the lawn. So what point in the day do you have your most clarity? When you have the most clear mind, when you can truly self-reflect on yourself. It's, it's hard to criticize yourself sometimes. And what part of the day is it when you can look back at the day before or maybe even years before? For today, I was looking back at when I was in high school. And uh, you know, there was times when I was kind of a mean guy. I'm a mean guy to, to friends I had then. And you know, maybe, uh, the fact that I see them on Facebook now sort of triggers it. I'm like, you know what? I remember that one time I said that to them. That was really mean. I wish I wouldn't have said that. I wish I could go back and take that back. And then I sit there and I self-reflect. Well, from this day forward, let's make sure that in the future, I never have to look back at today and regret anything I did or said today. So that when I'm, I'm 33 now, so like when I'm... 60 let's say and I'm looking back at today on this vlog today or and I remember something that I did or that I said I don't want to have any regrets I don't want to be like man I wish I wouldn't have said that that was kind of mean I want to be a positive thing in people's lives I, I want people to remember me and have good memories of me because people won't remember what you say to them really you know, they, they won't remember but they'll remember how you make them feel so it's, it's not so much about what you say, it's about how you make others feel. And I want to make others feel good, you know? These are the things that go through my head in the mornings. And I have to seize them and take, it, like, take them to heart right when they're in my head. Because like I said, once I get to work, get the blood pumping, get the gears turning, for some reason those, those kind of things are just... I got things to do. That's all I'm focusing on. I'm a man. I only, only focus on one thing at a time. I don't know. How about you guys? How about you guys? What do you guys? What point of the day is that for you? Is it in the evenings? The mornings? At lunch? Am I the only one? Every morning. Every morning. Somebody's getting a spanking. We were just talking about this. You see? This is why I make sure I'm not driving the fastest on the highway. Slower down to 60. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Getting a spanking on the way to work. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Gonna make sure that's never me. <laughs> People might recognize me around here and I end up on Facebook or on YouTube. Look, Trucker Josh got a spanking. Uh, that wouldn't be good. All right, all right. 
All right, all right, I'm in a very good mood right now. I just got an email saying that the motorcycle will be ready by 4 p.m. today. Today. Taking it home today. <clears throat> so, before we can go and uh, get too excited about that, let's get excited about this. Uh, I got some stuff in my trailer here. Taking these boxes all the way to the other side of the city. I'm on the southwest corner of Winnipeg right now. We're bringing it all the way to the east side of Winnipeg, so. Long journey ahead. Good thing I packed a lunch. Should take us 15 minutes to get there. 15 whole minutes. So it shall indeed be a good day. It will. Let's get going. I broke another one of these uh, mounts today. These mounts right here. Let me get my lookers off so I can see them. On the bottom here, do you guys, any of you who make videos or deal with GoPros all the time, do you guys have the problem too with these things here always breaking off like one side or the other or both? I have to order more of these now because this is my last one. And I like the ones that have this little swoop in there because then I can, uh, look at that, right? And it can be a chest mount, which is probably what I'll be using on the motorcycle because I don't want to put, uh, I don't want to put a mount on my beanie helmet. I think that'll look kind of funny. And I, we'll see. We'll see. I got to figure out how I'm going to mount the camera on that. But I was thinking maybe just a, a chest camera would work. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Let's let's get finished with this first. Feeling good. Looking good. What's the saying? Looking good, feeling better. Or feeling good, looking better. So once I get on the east side of Winnipeg and I drop this off, I've got to do some maneuvering around there. They need some freight moved around. It's a big compound. So I got to take some crates like this from one end of the compound, drop them at the other end of the compound. <coughs> and then I pick up another full load and I got to bring that to Ile de Chain, which is right close to work. So that was fun, but we're not gonna focus too much on trucking today because we have other things grabbing our attention. There she is. <laughs> I'm gonna load her up on the trailer right away. Take her home, I already took her for a spin. She's beautiful. So excited. Can't go fast enough. Oh, I'm like a little kid, I know. I gotta grow up. I was just talking about how mature I am this morning. Yeah, I guess that was a lot. Motorcycle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ride it right up to the center here, tie it down, and rush home. And then I can get everything done at home and we can go for a ride there. Scratched the bottom of the bike on there. Stalled it on purpose. So we're gonna tie her down so she's straight, not leaning on the foot peg. But it was pretty close, eh? I didn't want the bottom of the frame to scratch on the trailer and get hung up. It's my first time loading it up, so I think it looks pretty good though. I'm gonna polish it up with some bull snot once we get home. Probably tomorrow. I'm gonna take it for a ride tonight. No time for polishing. 
We're going riding. So it's got Vance and Heinz exhaust. That is aftermarket. It's not the custom exhaust, as you could hear. It sounds a lot better. It's very comfortable. It's gonna be a nice cruiser. There she is. All tight. Ready to go home. Let's go. One of the perks of hauling stuff for a living, you got a pretty good idea how to tie it down so it's not gonna go anywhere. That would be a nightmare. I've waited this whole time, and if it fell over or fell off the trailer or something. Oh, people are messaging me. I was just telling people that I got it. It'd be a nightmare if something happened to it on the way home. That's why we make double sure. And off we go. The reason I'm trailering it at home is because, I, I, like I was telling you before in past vlogs, I bought it off a coworker, and uh, I could ride it home now if I wanted to. I have my helmet and gear and everything. However, uh, I don't want to uh, leave my pickup here and have to get a ride back here to get my pickup. I'll take them both home at once. That's what the trailer's for. So I rode into La Broquerie, which is the town just east of Steinbach, just behind their, uh, their hotel bar here. Figured I'd do a little walk around with you here. It rides really nice. Uh, the one thing I noticed is it feels like it could use another gear. On the highway, uh, once I get up to highway speeds, it feels like, it's a five speed, it feels like a six speed transmission would be better because it still has a lot of power and torque at that speed, but you're sort of at the higher end of the fifth gear. So it'll keep me out of trouble speed wise. I'm not gonna be speeding down the highway in this thing too much. And it's loud too. But I've been noticing some noticing some discoloring on this one here. Gonna have to clean that off regularly, I'm sure. But it's definitely not stock exhaust. You hear this thing? I probably shouldn't rev it up too much here. We're at the hotel. Why don't we go to a place where it's more appropriate to make some noise? And I'll show you this thing, how loud it is. I'm <laughs> pretty impressed. It sounds a lot bigger than it is. I've got to figure out some kind of uh, mounts on here though, you know? I got nothing on here yet. I got this here, a lot more storage on this bike. I got this here, plus the two saddlebags on the back here. Makes it very easy to take stuff with me, unlike the sport bike, which just had a tiny little compartment underneath the rear seat. Man, for those of you wondering or just tuning in, it is a Yamaha V-Star, it's a 650. I think it's gonna be the perfect bike for me. It's only got, it's in miles an hour. So it's got 8,979 miles on it right now. And I probably put about 100, uh, maybe close to 100. No, I bought it with 8,912. So I put just over, no, just about 80 kilometers on there, 70 kilometers. That's, no, that's miles. I just told you it's miles an hour. That's gonna mess with me. Cause this bike must've been sold in America first because the kilometers an hour are on the inside and the miles an hour are on the outside and the odometer is in miles an hour. That's always going to mess with me. So I've driven it about 80 or 70 miles, which yeah, would be just over 100 kilometers. So I was right. I have to get used to that. <laughs> I got to get some mounts on here. A chest mount would be right about here. I don't know what kind of view that would give. I don't want to put any mounts on my helmet. I want to keep my helmet looking nice and uh, clean. I don't want any sticky mounts on there. So I'll have to figure something out. I want to get a, a handlebar holder for my phone so I can have my phone here and use it as a GPS and see if someone's trying to get a hold of me. If there's an emergency or something and someone keeps calling me, I know to pull over and uh, that someone's trying to reach me. I'll probably get newer uh, custom mirrors yet. But let's go to a place where we're not right beside a hotel. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to make a bunch of noise right outside a hotel. Just thought of that. 
All right, we're by ourselves here now. This driveway goes to some private property. We'll stay off of there. But, yeah. So this is uh, the ignition up here. Kill switch and hopefully the camera audio does it justice. Whoa. So the sound was important to me when looking for a bike. It might not be important to everybody, but I want a bike that sounds good. I want my pickup to get, uh, I want to get the exhaust on my pickup as well. Like it's, I don't want it to be obnoxiously loud. I don't want it to be loud enough that people notice. <laughs> something to get used to. Uh, it's heavier than my other bike. It's still pretty light compared to most bikes, but it is heavier compared to my Honda. And uh, it's a lot more comfortable to ride. I could ride it a lot further without getting sore. Uh, you're sort of sitting back more than leaning forward. I had a sport bike before, so. But I feel like it suits me a lot better. I got shades as well. I think I showed you them already just for the bright days, but today these will work just fine. And yeah. That's the new bike. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm gonna do a separate video yet, just about this bike once I get it all polished off yet. And uh, we'll go through all the details of it then. And it should be fun. Other than that,